Alright guys, my name is the Meta Goblin and today we're going to be talking about a perk mod which will just completely radically change the way that you play Skyrim. Now this perk mod isn't just some kind of mathematical change, you know, it's going to change the way you skill up your skills or something like that. You're going to get new skills, sorry, you're going to get new spells, new abilities, new powers, uh, and completely new pay play styles. And it isn't just like you won't just get new a bit. For instance, it's like it's, there's just it's loads of crazy stuff with this mod. The mod, by the way, is called Ordinator. Um, prefer this one over any other perk mod. But um, like even in the moon, the mundane uh, skills, like I guess heavy armor, which is just about making yourself better at heavy armor, you're going to get new spells and powers within the heavy armor tree. For instance, you get this battle standard power once a day in a heavy armor tree, which is like, uh, well, just increases your power and stuff like that. There's loads of skill crossover as well. So for instance, there's a, there's a perk where like, something like the, the more minions you have summoned, the higher, the more power your destruction, more damage your destruction spells do. So there's loads of crossover and it really helps kind of creating more cross compatibility builds. This is one of the things I didn't like about Skyrim because of the left hand, right hand restriction. It was difficult to make a proper battle mage character or something like that. Um, well, there was more restrictions anyway, and th this mod really kind of like breaks down those restrictions. You can create really crazy looking builds. I mean, you can create a build where all you do is wander about with, um, with a flute and a drum and like knock the crap out of people. Um, so there's loads of like new crazy build ideas that you can do with this mod installed. So I'm going to do like a quick preview of some of the most substantially game changing things that this mod adds and probably chat some more stuff about it. So first of all I'm going to just like quickly run through the certain, certain skills, um, basically just the highlights of the mod. I'll run through some of the skills basically, you know I'll go through magic builds, uh, warrior builds and thief builds, I'll do a good good at even proportion of all those kind of things. So Conjuration I'm going to firstly talk about. Um, what, what the mod also really attempts to do is change the playstyle of the mod. So one of the highlights of the Conjuration tree is how you can basically create your own skeleton army. Um, you get a certain perk where you'll be able to begin to loot corpses from Sorry, you get to loot bones, like bone pieces from all the corpses that you find in the world. You take these bones, you take them to a bo bone altar. So this, this mod doesn't just add um, perks, it literally adds locations and items to the game as well. So, and also, I think it adds like new spells as well, but anyway. So you have to go, you, you'll find these bone altars on your map, um, you know, marked on the map, you've got to go and find them. And when you get to these bone altars, you can start creating your own skeleton army. When you start improving that skeleton army, the further you go down the, the tree, you know, you get, you can bullet, um, feed your skeleton army to make them more powerful. You can blow, sacrifice your skeleton army to like make explosions. And then you can turn them into mages and you go further, further and down. And then eventually you've, you've got a pretty big um, army of skeletons. Also, what, another thing I like is one of the perks basically makes infinite, well, gives you the ability to infinitely summon minions depending on your Magicka. So I think per two, per certain amount of Magicka, you can summon an extra minion. It says here uh, you can summon or reanimate one additional minion per 250 points of base mana, up to three. Oh, sorry, just, it is up to three additional minions. You can also assume control of one of your skeletons and become invulnerable for a time. So yeah, it's just it is really just crazy. In the in the, in the destruction tree, you got this really cool little uh, perk where if you use lightning spells on the on a target, they kind of get lifted into the air temporarily so like you use like a lightning bolt they get strung into the air and then they like can't move and they're just like they're levitating in the air swinging around and stuff and you can keep attacking them and um, stuff like that. In the enchanting tree it isn't all just about enchanting the it's gonna help you out when whenever you're basically using a staff um, there's certain perks which basically, basically increase your effectiveness by with using a staff so you know just increasing increasing their damage and uh, making sure that they don't drain their um, energy as fast. In the heavy armor tree you've got um, certain perk which start to increase your elemental resistance, 
you've got fear spells, uh, you've got loads of crazy stuff under lots of like damage, reflection. With the illusion tree you can basically go up to any mob or any NPC in the game and while they're sleeping you can like steal their dreams and basically turn them into like a, a frowl, so turn them into a minion, like a permanent minion in the game. All the kind of, you know, the one-handed and two-handed perk trees, it's all, it really does change the, um, the way you're going to play, you aren't just going to do the normal kind of standard way of combat. For instance, um, it's going to complement you if you play, well, if you play better, for instance, like uh, combo attacks, power attacking in the, in the right places. In the block tree, you've got this thing, this mechanic called a timed block, so if you're not blocking, and then you block just in time to block an attack, it gives you a timed block, which is more effective, and then that rolls with loads of other perks, like doing a timed block is going to increase your attack speed or attack damage, etc, and things like that, so it, it complements like kind of calculated, um, timed combo kind of gameplay. With a smithing tree, again it makes it a little bit more interesting, you can literally craft Dwarven auto cannons and summon up dwarven auto cannons to blast the crap out of people. In a sneak tree, you've got this interesting power where it called I think it's called smoke screen. Once a day, you create like um, a 30 foot cloud of smoke. Um, you can set traps for people uh, and stuff like that. In the speech tree, you're gonna get, get basically get given the ability to speak to animals, um, which means you can turn them into actual minions and you've got perks which makes those minions more and more powerful so you can just go running about so also you've got dancing uh, powers which weaken enemies so you dance in front of someone and it weakens them you've got you can knock them out with um like drums and stuff like that so you can literally probably progress through the speech tree without any other progressing through any other trees and you can really create that kind of um old-fashioned old-school bard class which you can't really do in most modern RPGs. Anyway I'm going to stop chatting now, really guys I've only touched the surface with this mod, it is ridiculously extensive, I think it adds like 500 new perks and definitely definitely will drastically change the way you play Skyrim, so and that's what this uh, series is all about, just drastically changing Skyrim. Stay tuned, um, basically I'm going to have more videos like this coming very soon, I think next I'm going to turn Skyrim into a co cooperative RPG game, so look forward to that. My name is the Metagoblin, until my next video, ciao.